In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about Zapier and Google Forms. So first of all, you want to go to Zapier and create a new Zap. Now, there's two options. You can automatically, you can get some uh, information from here and put it into a Google Form, or you can take information from a Google Form and put it into a spreadsheet or a Discord or whatever you want. So let's say Google Forms here, event, new form response press continue and sign in okay so let's say you have a Google form here you can go here select your form and then in what it's going to do it's going to pull all the data from that form so if you have name email phone number all of that stuff you can use all of that information so for action let's say discord let's say in the Google form they have as a section to put their discord in and you want to invite that discord user so what you would do event find user or assign a role to a user um, let's say find user user so continue select your discord account and then what it's going to give you here is going to give you the different options for the different google form sections so if you've got a discord section you can click that and um, then you can get publish. Now you can add another action. So you could put like Discord, you could be like add to this add to specific Discord. So what it would do it go every time someone posts a new response in Google Forms, it will find the Discord user based upon what they put in here. And then you can add one here to add them to this. There's tons of other things you can do with this, but think about your workflow, think about what you need to do and go ahead and play around with this and publish it and test it out. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like, subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.